Hello everyone, I'm here from above, and I recently went to the SoCal Gaming Expo down in Ontario, California. Um, for, it was from May 6th to May 7th. Uh, I know this is more of a channel for gaming and stuff like that, but I do a lot of collecting on the side. And so I thought that I would show the haul, especially since you guys have really enjoyed the last unboxings that I've done. So, uh, yeah, so here is the badge from the expo sponsored by retro fighters do that look at that pretty nice i just had the saturday pass mostly just because um work and also <laughs> money because <laughs> so i know if i went two days i'd spend everything i had so yeah uh let's just get straight into it so first um there was a couple voice actors there doing signatures i happened to get two um both by Michelle Ruff. Um, she voices Noir in Fire Emblem Awakening, and she voice acts Sadeo Kawakami um, from Persona 5 Royal. Pretty cool. Um, sorry about the glare and everything like that. I don't have the best lighting, so I'm trying to make do. So yeah, um, really appreciate her uh, getting those signed for me and stuff. And it was actually funny because in Persona 5, you can <laughs> you can date characters, and she and she straight up asked me, "Hey, did you date my character?" And I had to I had to look her straight in the eye and be like, "Yep, <laughs> I did that." And yeah, uh, so next, definitely want to go over uh, these pickups. I am an advent advent. <laughs> I collect a lot of amiibos. Uh, I currently have 50% of all the amiibos ever made. So. Um, I went and picked up a couple that I did not have um, there. So I thought that I'd just unbox these and throw them out <laughs> while here on, on here on cam. So first we got an Animal Crossing character. Nothing too much, nothing too major. Right, just an Animal Crossing character. And then... Um, Next, we got Almond Celica from Fire Emblem. These amiibos happen to be rare, um, and they keep going up in price. So I caved and said I should probably buy them now before they continue to go up in price. They're from Fire Emblem Echoes, the uh, retelling of Fire Emblem 3, just a remake. Pretty cool, we got Celica here who's uh, an emblem in Fire Emblem Engage, that series I've done on the channel. And we got Alm here, just still trying to figure out this camera angle, boom. So yeah, you know, I'll just, I'll just, you know, I'll place both these, I'll place all three amiibos over here. Bam, cool. All right, next, we've got more Fire Emblem. I got a lot of Fire Emblem stuff this time around. We got Fire Emblem Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn here. Um, I got a pretty good deal from a seller there at the event. Um, for this, came with the manual and the disc. Disc looks pretty clean as well. Very cool. Um, this is a, like a two-part story. Uh, one on the GameCube, one on the Wii. Uh, both kind of cover Ike's story, but this one also features Micaiah. Very cool. And Fire Emblem fans know how expensive these games can get, so I'm very glad I was able to pick them up now. Mm hmm so there we go. I'll just you know, I'll place everything that I'm unboxed or looked at right there because why not? Next up, we have a sealed copy of Shovel Knight with the soundtrack for Wii U, and of course, I'm going to unbox that. Um, I am trying to collect every single NA physical release Wii U games, um, and so this is a nice addition to the collection. Because I, I uh, like physical games a lot. So there we go. There we go. Got the front. Got the the back. Oh god, that is blurry. There we go. That's that's better. My camera does not know how to does not know how to do this. Well, it is what it is. Um. And here we have the manual back when games actually had manuals very fun and uh yeah 
a free sound track code. Um, by the time this video goes up, I will already have claimed this, so do with it what you will. <laughs> with the disc, brand new. I always liked uh, Wii U discs because they always have the kind of glossiness around the disc here. So, very cool, very fun. Okay, and then last but definitely not least, we have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Steelbook Pro Controller Edition. Um, it was sealed, so this is a brand new product, like the Shovel Knight one. I did already take the sticker off because these are very annoying to get off, and I didn't want to struggle for 10 hours on camera trying to... <laughs> <laughs> trying to unbox everything. So this does come with the game and the steelbook. I already own the game as shown, but I don't actually have uh, a physical copy of the game. So, so there we go. We got the Pro Controller looking very nice. This goes well with my Xenoblade Chronicles 2 one. And we've got the steelbook. I'm pretty sure there's addition like this with the Nintendo Switch, but bam, we got a nice steelbook, and got the game inside this. So now all I need to do now is just pick up the original release of the game in the uh, the plastic one. But I, I'm a big fan of steelbooks. I have a lot of them. Eventually, I'll show off everything I have. But right now, yeah, really cool, really neat. Um, the steelbooks. I'm pretty sure it's just made by one company, just called Steelbook. Yeah, steelbook.com. But um, everything they do is pretty well made. At least that's the majority of the stuff that Nintendo puts out. So I might as well get into this. And of course, there is more stickers because these stickers are the worst. So I'll be right back when I get this opened up. <laughs> okay, I am back. I have gotten the stickers off. The most annoying things ever created. I don't know why they keep using those stickers. Okay, here we go. So yeah, um, I do have a couple Pro Controllers. I have the original one, I have the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 one, and I now have this one. I do want to eventually get all of them, because I think the Pro Controller is one of the nicest controllers um, that you can currently buy. Um, I think number one would have to be the PS5 controller. But there we go. I really like this controller purely based on just the color scheme and the design. It's really nice. The you know, the white and the Smash Bros logo. It's, it's all very nice. And here I'm gonna see if I can get this on a good here. I'm gonna try to using the buttons and everything. Oh wait, I picked up, but yeah. Um, brand new fresh pro controller, especially since the pro controllers as well as the Joy-Cons get drift. It's very nice to have uh, multiple because my original pro controller is um, a, quite a mess. Um, but luckily, these the Xenoblade one and this one are both very nice looking, especially since they're like almost like a hundred bucks I think now, or even more. You know, the Xenoblade one I think was like one twenty on certain places like Amazon and stuff. So yeah, there we go. Overall, the event was really fun. Uh, it's really nice to just be able to see all people that kind of enjoy the same hobby as you. Um, especially since it's not very, I guess it's getting more and more common, but it's still not as common as a thing. And it's even really nice because I've started going to make community events and stuff like that. And being able to see some sellers that I know and that I continuously go to, it was really nice. Because I was able to hang out with them and just see all the stalls. There's people just selling games, people doing the autographs, of course. Doing people doing posters, drawings for people. It was really cool. There was even tournaments, cosplay contest. But yeah, highly recommend the event. I can't wait to go next year. Hopefully uh, next year I'll go for both days and maybe I'll try doing a vlog style or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, with that we got everything unboxed and now I get to go put this on a shelf. Very neat, very fun. <laughs> and with that I hope you enjoy the the scuffed unboxing. That's the series I have because everything is incredibly scuffed. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye, bye-bye.